Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. We're gonna kick this one off with a grocery haul. We just got back from Wegmans and got all of the good things. And then we are going to get into some fall decorating in a bit, but let's show you guys what we picked up for this week. We also have the boys party this weekend, so there's a couple things for that out in the garage. We just got some sodas and juice boxes. Um, but down here is our meat for the week. We got the Wegmans chicken, which is our favorite. And <laughs> here's some um, like ground beef patties. I think these are just all patties. We like these ones from Wegmans and they're lean. So that's the meat. Um, I'm gonna get this put away real quick, but it's the Johnny Pops Cotton Candy Popsicles. The boys love these. My ice creams are the Halo Top Mint Chocolate Chip and the Enlightened Dark Chocolate Almond Bars. These are my absolute favorite and they were on sale, so I just grabbed two boxes. If you hear kids in the background, yes, I'm a mama four, and two of them are twin babies, so it's very loud in here almost at all times right now while the kids are still out of school and the babies are not currently napping, so you will hear that in the background, so bear with me. But we got the Kodiak mini waffles in the cinnamon flavor. The boys all like these. The mini protein pancake puffs, these are for the babies. We got some of the Wegmans fruit. I love the Wegmans fruit. They have the best fruit ever. Their pre-made fruit is so delicious. When I gave birth to Max um, in the hospital, this is what I had as a snack like after birth. It was so refreshing and good. So whenever we go, we always get a little bit of cut up fruit. It is a little more expensive but it's honestly top quality and lasts so much longer than the fruit than we get anywhere else. Back here, we just got a giant thing of salsa for the party. Same with the um, French onion, hell of a good dip. We did get this kale salad. My husband and I like to split this as a meal and put a piece of grilled chicken on top. So that makes an entire meal for us. We needed some sharp uh, shredded cheese. So we just grabbed this one. The kids yogurt tubes, they love these. Moving along, I found the Sweet Lorenz Puff Pastry. I know this is a hot commodity in the gluten-free world. I'm not actually sure what I'm even gonna be making with this, but I think I'm gonna pop it in the freezer because some recipe will come up from some time or another around Christmas time, and I'm gonna wish I had gluten-free puff pastry. So, kinda excited to find that. I know a lot of people can't find that and are looking for it, so I'm curious to see how that is. I got some wheat bread for the kids. These Sweet Lorenz Less Sugar Cookies. These are gonna be for the party for my sister and I who both eat gluten-free and we're both like watching what we're eating. So these are gonna be perfect, like a little dessert for us. Um, the Stonyfield yogurt drinks, the kids love these. So got those put in the fridge. The Broccoli Little Bites, the babies <laughs> love these and the big boys do too. These are a great little side to put with chicken tenders. So we'll do that for like easy lunches or dinners or whatever. Moving down here, we have the Catalina Crunch Snack. Whenever we go to Wegmans, we stock up on our adult snacks because they have the best ones. So my husband got spicy and I got traditional. The Quinn peanut butter pretzels, these are gluten free. These are my favorite, they're such a good snack. Um, we stocked up on some beef and bone broth. My husband uses the beef broth for brisket when he smokes that outside. And I just use bone broth in various recipes. I've also been cooking rice in broth instead of water sometimes. So this is just good to have on hand and it's higher protein usually than um, regular broth. This is nine grams of protein. So that's great for the upcoming fall and winter seasons. I got a four and six candle for the party. I think I have these in the basement, but I wasn't hundred percent sure. Um, so I just grabbed them. So that way I'm not scrambling last second day of the party. I'd rather just be safe than sorry and have extra candles than no candles. Um, I could always save them. You know, Max could use this one. The twins could use this one. It's fine. Some Stubbs barbecue sauce. This is the one my husband's going to be trying out for when we do like brisket and barbecuing from now on. The Like Air Puffcorn Pancake flavor. These snacks are so yummy. There used to be a Cinnabon flavor that Sam's Club had that I loved, but I thought the babies would really enjoy these. These are the Good Crisp Chips. Like I said, this is like a very snack-filled haul. We're gonna go to Costco just before the party and get like a veggie tray and stuff, so if we need any like bananas or additional fruits or vegetables, we'll just get it at Costco. Same with milk for all of the kids, we get that in bulk. Um, but this has sour cream and onion chips and classic and the older boys love this as a snack. I got my drum roll donuts. This is the only place that sells them that I know of. It's one gram of sugar, 10 grams of protein, and 190 calories for three of the donuts. So good. Love that as my treat. The boys are asking to make s'mores and I actually didn't have any chocolate in the house so I just grabbed this bar 
And then the last thing is the e.l.f. Um, Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This is my absolute favorite. It's in the deep brown. It's $3, pretty much standard wherever you get it, but it honestly works so much better than the expensive brands. Highly recommend that if you're looking for an eyebrow pencil or brush. So that's everything that we picked up from Wegmans. channel officially you saw our grocery haul from last night got that all put away did the bedtimes and I stayed up super late watching a movie I do not like when I do that I get super invested and then I don't go to sleep so <laughs> I'm kind of tired today I'll probably be cracking open an energy drink at some point it's around 9 a.m. now so we're getting ready for the twins first nap shortly gonna get my workout done but later today we are going to start bringing fall into our home I'm gonna do my clean and decorate kind of in two parts I'm gonna work on the upstairs today my master bedroom doing it a little bit different than last year and then work on the downstairs throughout the week so for the downstairs I'm debating just to do a decorate with me or a clean and decorate with me I think I'm gonna conquer it and divide and just do the cleaning separate and do the decorate with me since that'll take up a good chunk of time Lukey has joined me here he loves to be in the videos right now um, so what I'm gonna do is do my workout during the first nap and hopefully during the second nap get to that clean and decorate or kind of conquer and divide it where I'll do like the bed making and the cleaning in the first nap and then the decorating in the second nap. Hope that makes sense. It is the end of August here, so I usually like to decorate right around this time, end of August, beginning of September, just to enjoy my decorations as long as humanly possible. So if you guys are curious, Hi. <laughs> if you guys are curious as to how I'm gonna be decorating my master bedroom for fall, definitely stay tuned, keep watching. I have lots of cute ideas, reusing things that I already have. I didn't go out and purchase like a whole bunch of new decor, new bedding, none of that. This is just very realistic mom life decorate with me you know keeping things on a budget i don't think you have to go out and buy new decorations for every single holiday and just completely gut everything that you've had and start over again i love things that have sentimental value to me things that i've collected over the years things that were gifts so that's kind of how i like to decorate i do like to get a few new pieces which i will always share with you when they are new and i will let you guys know if it's something that i've had previously Speaking of new decor, um, last year, this is for downstairs by the way, we added this shelf over here. Um, I specifically wanted it for holidays, don't judge me, because I want to put fall and Christmas decorations up here above this little um, console table. This little cabinet holds lots of the kids like educational toys, Tony box, like busy books, things like that. Um, but I really wanted a shelf up there, so we put one up last year, and I have that really pretty like framed flower but I wanted to switch it up for fall, so I found this one from Amazon, um, and it came framed, and it's like a painted canvas. I guess you could paint your own too if you're really artistic. I probably could have done something similar to this. I just don't know when I would find the time, but it's really, really nice quality. I saw the new one um, from Target, from Hearth and Hand, and I think it was 20 bucks, and this one was like 12 or 13, and I just love the colors in it. Oh. There goes a race car. Um, so I thought that would look really pretty on the shelf. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Another little home update we're gonna do this week is we are gonna sell these bar stools on Facebook Marketplace. Um, the reason being is that because you can see them over the counter, which is fine, and we initially wanted them because the furniture back there used to be dark brown, so we wanted something light. I was cleaning this chair, that's why it's in a spot. Um, Sorry for the noise, they are playing with the vacuum part, so I have to go get those. Um, but we want stools that we're gonna tuck under here now because we used to have dark furniture back there, so the white really helps to like brighten up the space. But now that we do have white furniture back there, um, it's gonna be better just to get smaller stools and tuck these in and not have these visible. So we're gonna sell these on Facebook Marketplace and then use that money just to get. Uh, like more plain stools to put under here. So I don't know if that'll be in this video or my next video, but I'll show you guys how that all turns out. Also, the babies are playing peekaboo with each other. I don't know if you can see them. <laughs> are you guys playing peekaboo? 
Oh my gosh, so loud. <laughs> Look how cute. All right, guys, let's get to work on this master bedroom. Here is the before. I like to keep the decor very neutral so it's easy to swap out for different holidays. Here are all the decorations we are doing today. I pulled them out of the basement. So I do have one more garland that's coming for above our bed. I'm just going to put this old one up there for now and switch it when it arrives. It's going to arrive later today. And then maybe I'll put this one on our TV stand or I'll just put this on our TV stand and wait until the other one comes. I'll probably do that actually now that I think about it. And we're going to light it up and do all of the fall things in here. The first place I always like to start is by making our bed. We have very neutral bedding and sheets. The only holiday that I change our sheets for is Christmas. I do have Christmas specific sheets. I also have a Christmas comforter, but I haven't used that in quite a few years. I've just been keeping the white one on and it makes it really easy to change up the throw blanket and the pillows and it just is super simple. So that's what I like to do and definitely recommend doing that, getting like a neutral comforter that's easy to swap out the decor on it. I'm going to be adding this really pretty rust color blanket. I've had it for a few years from Amazon and I'm just going to kind of drape it over the corner of the bed. I love that look, that kind of like undone look, but your bed is still made so it looks nice and proper. I'm going to be adding some throw pillows to this. These throw pillows came from Big Lots this year. They were on clearance. You guys saw them in one of my videos. I think they were around $5 a piece. They were from the summer collection but they're honestly like a cream color with a terracotta colored stripe so I think anything with the oranges or reds is perfect for fall time so that is what I planned on saving them for was for fall and I'm also going to add this sweater pumpkin I've had this for a few years I believe that came from Target Next, we're going to head over to the dresser slash TV stand and put up a few pieces of decor. I already had these amber color um, jars there and then I just added this little plant from Target from a few years ago and this beautiful candle I believe is a dupe I don't know if it's a pottery barn dupe or where it's from but it actually came from Aldi grocery store you guys will hear me mention Aldi a lot in my fall and Christmas decorating because they honestly have the best dupes for the best prices when it comes to decor in their specialty aisle I also had this fall garland it's super old back from my old condo so it's probably a good like nine ten years Years old um, but I'm just taking it off of the twine because it was a little bit bulky and putting the actual leaves and pumpkins kind of behind all this other decoration just to set the scene for fall at nighttime when we are laying down watching TV I'm gonna head over to this little basket next I keep this up all year long I just love it and I'm gonna actually put a pillow cover on the pillow that is in there just to add a pop of orange in this little corner here to kind of match the top of the dresser. And I'm also gonna add a cozy knit blanket. The thing that I love about this is you can just tuck whatever blanket you have already in there right in the basket and you can just put the new one on top that matches the season or whatever vibe you're going for. So at Christmas, I'll probably change this to a Christmas blanket, but it just adds a cozy touch to any room in the house. You could do this in a family room, bedroom, wherever you want. I also have this tray that came from Timu from a long time ago on my little ottoman here. I'm going to add this vase. It's upcycled. It had some flowers in it that I did not love, so I ripped those out, and I already had these other stems, so I'm just going to kind of intertwine them together. It has some eucalyptus, some neutral colored leaves, and a little white pumpkin, and I'm just going to put those farmhouse beads back on there and add this nice soft pumpkin that came from Target many years ago, but I'm sure they have very similar ones. They always come out with like similar or like a slight variation of decor from the year prior, so that's nice that it lasts a really long time in that sense. I don't think pumpkins ever go out of style, but I'm just going to dust our dressers over here and just add some little initial pumpkins on each side from the dollar store. <laughs>
One piece of decor that's really easy to switch out for the different seasons are these vases and stems. I got these stems from Timu. They definitely need some fluffing up, but they were only $3. Whereas I know if you go online and just Google stems, like fall stems, some of them can be pretty expensive. So if you don't want to spend a lot of money on your fall decorations or holiday decorations, but you want them to make a statement and look cute and on trend, definitely check out places like Timu to where you can get them really discounted and you can just style them your own way and make them look a little bit more expensive than they come off to be. I'm also going to add some pumpkins up top here and this light up acorn. I got that on clearance at uh, Big Lots at the end of the season last year so that'll be really pretty in the nighttime. So that's how this little corner came out over here. I also had this little pumpkin candle from Aldi. I'm just going to add to the tray. I didn't really know where to put this and I just thought I could fill it up and just add a pop of gold over here so that looks really pretty all together I love the tones that there's some bright orange some dulled orange some bright red I'm also adding a pumpkin topiary up on my dresser I've had this for so long but again it's one of those things that's never gonna go out of style it's just pumpkins and leaves this was my very first fall decoration that I ever owned I worked in a hospital before I moved to Maryland and my really great friend there gave me this as a parting gift it's a little ceramic pumpkin you can put candies in it or whatever you want so I just put it up here on my beauty desk and that's what I love about decorations like these is they have a sentimental value and that was just the decoration that kind of started it all for me now we're going to go ahead and get the floor vacuumed up because there's lots of twine and leaves and like little crumbs from the decorations all over the carpet <laughs> So now that it's starting to look like fall up in my room, I want it to smell like fall as well. I'm gonna put out my Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Bath & Body Works hand soap. That is my favorite one of all time. And I'm gonna get my diffuser going. I have this Halloween set from Amazon. I got last year or the year before. I can't quite remember. If they still have it, I will link it down below. But it has so many great scents like pumpkin pie, marshmallow, candy corn. It has a caramel corn scent. And I just love all the smells of fall and the holiday season. So I don't like to light candles actually in my room because I'm afraid that I'm going to fall asleep with them on. So what I like to do is put on a diffuser with the same kind of scents that a fall candle would have. And that way if I do fall asleep, I don't have to worry about it. Some of the diffusers do have timers on them. I believe this one does. This one I got from Costco a few years back. I also use it when we were sick as well to diffuse like lavender, eucalyptus, just scents that smell good throughout the winter season so definitely try a diffuser out in your bedroom or you can get the flameless candles that kind of flicker and they're battery operated if you want a candle ambiance I do have some of those I'm a candle person but I just don't trust to have it on while I'm sleeping of course that is so dangerous but here is how the room is turning out thus far we're just waiting on the garland to come in for the bed which it does in this video we are going to head downstairs next and get to baking some pumpkin chocolate chip muffins too. You guys know we had to kick off the fall clean and decorate part one with some baking so I'm making some pumpkin muffins here are the ingredients you can screenshot so you can make them yourself I just set my oven for 350 degrees and these cooked for about 18 to 20 minutes I'm actually using a silicone muffin pan here and definitely can recommend that to you guys I hadn't baked with these before but I picked up this pack at Costco a little while ago and it makes it so easy just to pop out your muffin 
muffins and cupcakes. The top is actually kind of hard, but where the muffins and cupcakes go, it's soft. So you just put your hand underneath. You'll see me do it in just a minute here and you can pop out your muffins. You don't need any liners and they come out absolutely perfect. The best way that I found to scoop my muffins into a pan is using a ice cream scoop or cookie scoop, muffin scoop, whatever you want to call it. Um, this works out super well to get them nice and even. So we're going to get those into the oven so we have a nice fall snack to munch on today. the leaves came in for the top of the bed I'm not sure if I'm just gonna use one or two they came in a package together super super inexpensive on Amazon and then I also got these acorn lights from Timu I thought I would intertwine uh, within the leaves for an effect but the bad news is we ran out of double A batteries we only found this one so I had to go ahead and order some double A batteries so those won't be here for another day or two so I'll just put the acorn lights in there and I'll light them up whenever I get the batteries for that well let's go ahead and get these on and then we will end today's video so I'm just sticking the garland kind of between the bed and the wall so it doesn't fall on our heads during the night. It's really lightweight though, so even if it did, it wouldn't hurt or anything. But I'm going to intertwine those little acorn lights. They are so cute. They were under two bucks from Timu. I'm telling you guys, the decor on there is so cheap. But here is just a friendly reminder. You don't have to compare your home to anyone's on the internet. You can decorate the way that you would like at the time frame you would like. This is just how I'm doing it this year. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I'm decorating for fall. And maybe it gave you some ideas. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.